Try not to fool us now, will you? <laughs> Yesterday you would have been a hero, but today you'd just be a dead fool. <laughs> Turn on your weapon. <laughs> the war is finished. How do I know you're not lying to me, Sergeant? Uh, you don't believe me? <laughs> Ask your own man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Matt! Bring him down! One of yours, ain't he? I'm Colonel David R. Donovan. Colonel Donovan? That's right. Is the war really over, sir? Yep. But how, sir? Lee surrendered at Appomattox. When? Three days ago. So it's finished. Mm. Yeah, the war's over, Lieutenant. We can all go home. <clears throat> Think we'd better do what they ask. We lost it. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. All right. Throw down your arms! All right, off your horses. Better get down, Lieutenant. Yeah. Come on. Got a cigar? Yes, sir. Good man. Want a light, sir? Yeah, no thanks. Where do you live, Lieutenant? Little Rock, in Arkansas, sir. Yeah, that right. Yes, Colonel. <laughs> well, you're a long way from home, ain't you? Yes, sir. Best I can figure it. That's at least a 20-day Walk, Lieutenant. Yeah! Look at him run! <laughs> when did he walk, huh? Sure. And a ten-day run! <laughs> oh, run, rabbit! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, look at him go! <laughs>
All right, bugle boy, I changed my mind. Let's see the color of your underpants. Come on, and don't start playing coy, soldier. Strip. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. Place your bets, please. One dollar on 16, yes, sir. Now, the limit of any one number or color is $25. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets, please. That's a $25 limit. Place your bets, please. Place your bets. That's the last call on bets. 5,000 on your life, Becker. It's the principal, Mr. Rainey. Ah, good morning, sir. Mr. Aguasanta. Good morning, Mr. Aguasanta. It's a pleasure to see you again. Tell me, how have you been? Well? I swear you're looking younger these days. This has been good, huh? I can tell by the smile on your face. Come in, come in. Come on into my office. After you, Mr. Aguasanta, after you. No one will disturb us in here. Please, go ahead. Sit down. <laughs> ah, I imagine your work is going well. Since the war ended last month, there's been a, a great deal of activity amongst the criminal element, which in one way is bad, but for you, it means a growing bank balance. And that's the important thing in life, isn't it? Well now, sir, how much would you like to deposit this time? 5,000. Ah. I'd like to see my statement. Certainly, sir, at once. Here. A 
Everybody knows that our famous uh, adversator Joe prefers to pull a trigger than pull a leg. <laughs> but despite the many slights on his profession, he's a man of great scruples. He's a man of honor, with as good an eye for business as he has for straight shooting. If you give me the interest on his capital, that'll make 50000 <laughs> Ti prego, the next information you want, I have to charge extra. The cost of living, she's rising. Eh? Come in. Uh, look, I'd really prefer a redhead. <laughs> ah. Ah. Where's Agua Santa, Joe? Well, did you hear that question? Santa, I already picked out a box for you. You wouldn't want me to meet uh, St. Peter in the nude, would you? No matter to me, none. Oh, hell. Last request, hit. Donovan and his gang used cannon to take the Lancaster Bank yesterday, sir. Cannon? Well, that's it, gentlemen, isn't it now? It was Colonel Donovan who stole those cannon, and I'm quite certain there are no other outlaw gangs equipped with artillery. So we know for sure which raids he was responsible for in the past six months. Let's pinpoint those raids and see if we can see any sort of pattern to his movements. He's restricted, gentlemen. It should be easy to track him down. No one can travel quickly with cannon. According to all reports, no one has ever seen hide and hair of those cannon before or after raid. That might signify that he has two or three and that he doesn't move around very much. Which might mean he keeps to certain areas. Let's say, for instance, the triangle formed by Lancaster, Sweetwater, and Del Rio. Then let's try there, Captain.
the manager. Morning, Colonel. You better tell everybody to leave. Every? What do you mean? Official orders. Uh, orders to close up the bank. But why would the army want to close up the bank? Uh, what orders? A requisition order. Ah, I understand. Yes. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid you'll have to leave as we're closing the bank earlier than usual today. Official army orders. Didn't you say a requisition, Colonel? Yeah, that's right. Requisition. But that money there belongs to the bank. The army has run short of funds. But you just can't. Oh, yes, I can. Open the safe. Your impersonators. I'm not opening anything. What's the time? Time? You want to know the time? What difference does it make? Yeah. Careful with that. Three minutes to twelve. He's slow. Two minutes. Yeah, two more minutes to open that strong box. Just two more minutes. No, I won't open it. I won't. Won't make me do it. Just half a minute, according to my reckoning. You don't scare me. You don't scare me in the least. <laughs> a quarter minute? Check. Fifteen seconds. Well. Hmm. All right. If you won't open it. For some reason, it's green. Just drink, it's a good coffee. Don't do it, Joe. Forget about it. Bring in Don. It would be other madness. Especially if you try to do it alone. He's a wolf. 
you would not get within a mile of the man. Yeah, maybe you could. But I want more of a cut. No. Well, if there's nothing else doing these days, I accept 20, all right? I reckon you would. Oh, Donovan's right-hand man deserted the band. He took off on him. And Donovan wants to get his hands on him. I hear he's molto mad at having lost his little Charlie that way. And he puts a reward on him. And I know the reward is a big one. Five times what the Federals are paying if you deliver him alive. I saw a man's face out there. I'll go take a look. something. What's Donovan paying for my skin? Ten thousand dollars. Oh. A lot of money for a son of a bitch. You say that again, I'll kill you. Uh oh, you have to shoot me. <laughs> See, uh, my mother just died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that's why I come to town. Come to pay, uh, to pay my last respects to her. That's it. I come to town to pay my last respects uh, to my dear old mother. In a whorehouse? Uh, poor mother. Oh, I guess I am a son of a bitch, yeah. <laughs> but, but don't you see? Get dressed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, $10,000, eh? <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> now, do I look all right? Mm-hmm. Dreamy. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Hear my prayer, O oh Lord, and let my cry come unto you. Let us pray. O oh God, who are alone, merciful and sparing of punishment, humbly we pray you in behalf of the soul of your servant, whom you have commanded to go forth today from this world. Do not hand her over to the power of the enemy, and do not forget her well. You know, Agrisana, it ain't that I mind going back to face a court-martial. It's hanging afterwards that I mind. You know, you're almost as famous as Donovan. That's saying a lot for a bounty hunter. Now, where did you ever get your name, anyway? Aguasana. Holy water. When I was a kid, my father used to sell whiskey to the engines. They called him Far Water and started calling me Holy Water. Later on, when I was growed up, I went to Mexico and got it changed to uh, Aguasana. Satisfied? Uh, well, it's a good story. Oh, all right, we're here. We're where? 
the end of the damn road, as far as I'm concerned. My bladder's almost bursting. Don't you understand, damn it? I gotta pee. Well, come on. You want me to ruin this saddle? Uh, all right, all right. Go on. Don't worry, I ain't watching you. Ain't you through yet? Hey! What the blazes you doing over there? Riding a horse is much easier. Hi there. You keep your hands off me, you bastard! <laughs> Sidewinder! Hey, hold it! That's my shirt that's getting ruined there. <laughs> be with you. Two riders coming in from the east. Come back to us sooner or later, Charlie. One way or the other. 
I must say I didn't take too kindly to the way you uh, deserted the troop. Sure is good to have you back in the ranks again. Yeah. Step down, Charlie. Say hello to your old friends. Leave him alone, Colonel. He's mine. You mean you brought him out here just to show him off to us? Is that right? No, he's for sale. Ah, for sale, is he? All right, I'll tell you what. 10,000. For that? $10,000 for that? Hmm. Well, damn it all. I give you 3,000, but that is the limit. Now, nobody in his right mind would refuse $3,000 for, for that. Just think of me as crazy. I'll make you one last offer. I'll pay you $4,000. Ten. Damn it all to hell. This is ridiculous. Why should I pay $10,000 for a man we're gonna hang? Wait a minute. I got an idea. Why don't you deal with a man, Sergeant? You might listen to you. All right, friend, get off that hole. Oh, shit. Six thousand? I said ten. Sure you did. Hmm. Pay him. You wanted Charlie, and he brought him to you. <laughs> I'll sweat every cent out of your hide. such a big reward. <laughs> Charlie ran off with a contribution we received from the bank at Austin. You got a cigar? Special for my clients. <laughs> well now. All right. Tell me, whereabouts did you find Charlie? Lancaster. Betty gave you quite a run for your money, huh? Yeah, it was pathetic. Pathetic? There's nothing pathetic about Charlie here, is there? At the funeral, there was. What's that? He went to Lancaster to bury his mother. What? Bury his mother? <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, that man ain't got a mother. He was spawned on a hot rock and weaned on local weed. <laughs> mother died, huh? <laughs> hey, bring him over here. Agua Santa, you may leave. Now then, Charlie. Well? Colonel, I didn't desert. I just went to bury my poor old mother. Sit down, Charlie. Uh, Sit down, Charlie. I will. So, you went off to bury your poor old mother, huh? Where's my money? What money? Now, Charlie, come. Have you forgotten about all my money that you stole from your old friends? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Now then, where's my money, Charlie? Well, you see, I spent it all. Oh, you did, huh? Burying my poor old mother. What with a coffin, couldn't send her away in a cheap one. Didn't seem right. And the cost of the service. Uh-huh. Well, I spent it all. Well, you sure must have loved her. Your poor old mother, huh? Yeah, I sure did. Charlie. All right, you can have him. Take him. Come on, Charlie boy. Come on and get a bucket full of this truth. <laughs>
That fucking truth medicine work. I'm ready to tell you everything. Oh, you are. Uh-huh. Where's my money? I buried it with my mother. It's in her coffin. Huh. You buried it with your mother. It's in her coffin, huh? Yeah. Uh, Why didn't you tell me that before, Charlie? I forgot about it. <laughs> you forgot about it. All right, Sergeant, we're going grave robbing. Get the horses. Dig it. agree with you. Let's get back to camp. We'll put a rope around his neck and haul him up real slowly and let him choke to death. Well, Colonel, what are we going to do? Mm. We'll go back to camp. I see. Know what you boys are going to be charged with when I try you? But you can't blame me. Charlie escaped during his gun. Nobody gave him permission to rest. You should have been awake to help me. All right. All right. No court martial this time. But you still got to learn a lesson. Get ready. Next time I give you orders, you better stick to them to the letter. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'd like to hear your comments, if you have any to make. Colonel, what do you have to say? I'm all for the idea, sir. I think it'll work. Hmm. I agree, sir. Well, we've got nothing to lose, and it's worth trying anything to bring in Donovan's bunch. And his idea's a good one. Yeah. All right. We'll try it your way, sir. Get things moving, Colonel. Yes, sir. Take him away. Let's go. Move it. Come on. If this plan of yours works, you'll make a little money. I'll see you get the reward that's offered on Donovan's gang. Oh, I agree. It's not a fortune. It's not too bad, though. It'll come to about 5,000. How's that sound to you? Hmm. General, 
I'm not greedy, but I was thinking of more like 30,000. <laughs> Did I hear you say 30,000? You think money grows on trees, eh? <laughs> no, it grows in banks, General. But you see, unfortunately, banks tend to get held up, and that's how it happens I lost all my cash. Our man Donovan got it. And Donovan is an army colonel, so I'm holding the army responsible. Carpetbagger wants to talk to you, Colonel, about a deal he's got. Bring him over here. Hey, Sisley, come talk to the Colonel. I have a message from Aquasan. Huh? Let's hear it. And he has a dealer for you. Let's hear it. It's a dealer that will make you both many thousands of dollars. Let's hear it. It's regarding your man, Charlie Logan. Charlie. The army got him. <laughs> Just what is Agua Santa's deal? The deal is to rescue Charlie out of jail. Huh. How? We must talk price first. Give him another 10,000. Hey, the cost of living, she's going up. He wants 30,000. <laughs> 30,000? Oh, forget it. Like the man said himself, he's crazy. You should pay it, Colonel. This way, you not only get your man and Charlie back, but also the 30,000 you pay Aquasand. What do you mean, how do we get back the 30? You gonna bring it to us? Uh, no, not exactly. Uh, what I can tell you for a small fee is where he banks his money so you can go and collect it. <laughs> Donovan, <laughs> that's one of the best double crosses I've heard for a long time. Why'd he send you? Why? Because he has faith. He can depend entirely on uh, this Sicilian here. <coughs> you wanna hear the plan? Yeah. We put all of your men in my wing. Why? Did you ever read about the attack on Troy City and the wooden horse they use? No. <laughs> Illiterate bastard. And I suppose this horse ain't wooden shavings.
Colonel, we're winning. Point going on, the prize is swinging. Now blow retreat or you'll face a court martial. But well, I don't know the retreat, sir. Well, now's the time to learn it, soldier. We're getting out, sir. Come on, move it. Kept you so long. I 
ahead of the business. Santa. over your eyes. You already had the one, and I'm plumb out of the other. Ready? Hold it, Donovan. It was me who took the money off Charlie. I told him to say it was in the coffin. Oh? <laughs> Lower your guns. Bring him back to camp. So, you and Charlie worked out that story about the cough. You hid the money. Naturally, you're gonna tell us where it is. Well, where did you hide the money? That's enough, Sergeant. Like hell it is. I'm gonna make him talk. I give the orders around here. Then you've got a problem on your hands, Colonel. I'm through taking your orders. Do you understand? We're gonna do things my way now. Look at the mess you made of things today. That happened because, Sergeant, someone went against my orders. You know damn well I never gave the order to fire. But somebody in our bunch started it, and I'm pretty sure I know who it was. And talking about messes, what about this? Kicking our only source of information to death. You kill this man, and that money's a goner. I ain't listening to your ranting no longer. I got my own ideas on how to run things. And he'll talk. You needn't worry about that. So get to the back of the line, because from now on, you're going to follow my orders. Understand? And if that ain't to your liking, you can ride out of here. All right. Those with me stand on this side of the line. Huh? <laughs> Jonathan. All right. If you want to follow this dumb bastard, it's your funeral. Go ahead, he's all yours. Make him talk. Get him on his feet. I'll make him sing fast enough. Sergeant. I got one last word of advice for you, and that's to get out of camp. I was signed. I told the Federals where they could find us. They're liable to come riding in any minute now. I have no intention of sticking around to welcome them. That makes sense. I vote we move out of here. Yeah, we'd never fight off a troop of Federals. We'd better find ourselves another base. The money's got to be somewhere near Lancaster, so we ought to head in that direction. Good idea. Let's move. We can work on him later. Put him on a horse. And watch him. He's slippery as a snake. So, this is what... 
what the son of a bitch came here to do. I'm gonna tie it to his head when I'm through with him. Pin dropped out. Have to lift a little. Jet, you lift, we'll push. <laughs> Hold it, boys. I got a better idea. with a mountain of dollars and gold in your hand and not a chance of being able to spend it in hell. <laughs> it's kind of ironical. Huh? Yeah. You know what I'd do if I were you? In your situation, I'd try real hard to find a friend or temporary associate. Of course, if you find someone willing to give you a hand, you'll have to really uh, make it worth his while. Now, that'd be what I'd call doing a real smart thing, eh? That's it, boy. <coughs> All right, let's move out. Have you decided yet? I'm losing my patience, mister. I'm gonna give you just one more minute. What's the matter with you? You wanna die? Where's the money, you son of a bitch? All right, mister, your one minute is up. I'll lighten the fuse. Take over, man! She's gonna blow! <laughs>
I just don't like your gun sticking my back. Now, don't try anything stupid, will you? You see, I've been losing a lot of friends lately. And I don't want to lose you. You ain't going to trust me in there alone, sure are you? Sure I am. Somebody's going to keep watch in case the others come along. All right, but I may be a while. Yeah? Yeah. I'll be waiting. Did it occur to you the others could be waiting outside for us? It did. <laughs> Maybe you and me will find another way out. I'll be waiting here. Move it. Can't be that far behind. Have you found it yet? Aguasana, have you found the money yet? No. It's dark in here. Hey, now let's move it. Come on. Wait a minute. I think I found it. Well, Aguasanta, 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 Aguasanta. Shit! You rotten, lying, double-crossing, yellow-bellied son of a bitch!
going somewhere? I got one more bullet. Save your bullet. We got guests coming. That won't work with me. Well, I hear horses. So you did. Bruce? <laughs> Maybe we should. Only be a temporary truce, all right? Right. <laughs> Could be I do, but I don't need a spare tit right now. One apiece, ain't it?
husband's mine. There's no sign of Donovan or Aguasanta. What about his sergeant? Not among the dead. The Army's late as usual. The girl was right about that. So there's no point in hanging around here, Lieutenant. We'll go to their campsite and repossess that Army cannon. Let's ride. He was mine. You kill him, I'll take the bodies. Worth five thousand dollars. Always the money, huh?
I wouldn't want you to die without your hat on. You're forgiven, bastard, ain't you? Yeah, it's amazing, the similarity between us. Donovan! Hey, Donovan! Crazy? No. and you'd be all right. <laughs> Donovan, you're a rotten lion, double-crossing, yellow-bellied son of a bitch! Well, I'll be. I can tell you had that bottle up all day. Yeah, like moving your bowels, ain't it? Well, I'm ready. If you got any last requests to make, you better make them fast. Oh, but don't ask me for a woman, a bandage over your eyes, or mercy, because I'm plumb out of all three. <laughs> Donovan! I swear I'll stick around to haunt you, you son of a bitch! Uh. You better start praying, Agua Santa! You better start praying now, because it's all over! <laughs> Donovan! Donovan! It seems like we're late again, but we've got the cannon back finally.
Uh, one volley salute, Lieutenant. One volley salute. Ready? Uh, Captain, sir, don't you know wasting ammunition is against regulations? Come on, big shit.